Aloha guys, this is Scuba Chris here. I would like to take a look at, this is the chesty, this is by GoPro. Now you have head mounts and you're gonna have chest mounts. This is a chest mount for the GoPro cameras, but you can be used with any type of action camera. Now normally you see me out there with my headband, all right? Um, they, I like the view from the headband, but I might be switching over to a chesty here. And the reason being is because, you know, your skin gets a lot of exposure to the sun, especially on top of your head when you don't have too much hair. So if you try to wear a hat or put it on a hat, it doesn't mount very well. It, there's a chance it may come off and it'll drop and crack. And if you try to wear a hat, look, it doesn't really work that well, does it? Doesn't. So I was thinking about switching over for more for health reasons than anything else. All right, um, GoPro products can be made mostly for the outdoor sports, uh, but it can, it can be used for indoor sports as well. So let's go take a look at this. This one came from Best Buy, by the way. You know, um, it was on sale for, not sale, but it's been their price for $34.99 for, geez, almost a year. So last week I downloaded it, brought it to Best Buy, gave them the paper. They said, oh no, this past Sunday, we raised it uh, $5 to $39.99. Uh, so much for that. Alrighty, let's see. Eight. Tapes on the bottom. So, it's... Okay, you got your... Your warranty and let's see you're gonna have your unit inside here you got your thumb screw here and you got your mount this is a chesty now what makes this different from the original chesty the original one was smaller you, you see how you have the bracket here? Th that bracket was on plastic, hard, rounded plastic. So because of that, it had a, a tendency to have pressure points on the side. Um, plus, if you didn't get the bands tight enough, it had a tendency to flip over. I had one of those, I, it was horrible. I gave it away after the second day. So just remember that um, this one here, notice the padding, very thick padding. It goes way outside the main bracket here, so no tendency to flip over, and you have to keep the straps tight. Not to the point where you're gonna be suffocating, but you have to keep the straps tight. Okay, so let me see now how this, all right, I see it. These two pieces here, pull it, you push it in like that, this should slide out. There you go. And that's how you get this part to come out. Put it back. That's it. Now, when you use this, you're either gonna have the camera up, pointing ahead, or down, pointing up. I'm gonna try down, pointing up at first. So we're gonna attach the bracket. Now, if you're gonna have it down, pointing up, let's see now. It should be going on this way, all right? So, all right, that's right. You have to, see this rubber pad on top? You have to pry it up like so, see that? So, from the bottom, we're gonna take it up. That's it, and then we're gonna push the tab down. Well, I don't, I have my GoPro upstairs, but on my headband here, I have an Elko Pro, it's an action camera. I'm willing to bend, bet that just that slight angle, see like right here, now the unit's going straight up and down. But when you have this on, now it's gonna film a little bit down. I'm, I'm willing to bet that's all you're gonna need. But I'm gonna give it a try. I've tried something like this before. It was the old one and this is the way I used to do it. Okay, I don't have my uh, rod with me, but let's see, I have this camera pointing straight out now straight out so if I'm holding a rod and reel see this is the reel over here and I'm cranking this is where it would be 
Now, if I was to bring this out just a hair, like so, this is just like a bit about maybe a third of an inch from where it was going out. This will be the reel. Crank, crank, going up and down, up and down. Okay, and this would be the rod continuing up. Now, there's a little bit more. This is the body easily an inch out now. So we're gonna try this again. Reel, crank, 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 crank. Okay, as you can see, I got the hit man and I got the chesty on, all right? So I can take this off now. Go back to the hat. Now I flip the camera back so it shows what it's gonna look like. Very easy to do. And as you know, I'm a big guy, so um, this fits perfect. I mean, it's actually a little bit on the loose side right now. I can make it tighter. Um, actually, this camera I got on, it's way, way lighter than the uh, um, regular GoPro. Uh, this is the Alcove Pro, way, way lighter, so I don't feel the weight. But when you go back to the GoPro, you will feel the weight, so you're gonna have to really cinch up on these. These elastic bands here has to be tight, really, really tight uh, to make this work, all right? So this is what I'll be using. Thanks a lot.